Hi everyone, Troy Thompson here from On The Beat. I'm in the studio today with Richard Schwartz and Patrick Wooten of Richard Schwartz and & Associates. And today we're talking all about the legal ramifications when it comes to dog bites. Welcome to the show, my friends. Thank you. Bye, okay, I wanted to have this conversation with you because I also got bitten by one of my neighbour's dogs many moons ago back home in Australia. And she seemed to think it was no big deal. Okay. You, that's because she didn't get bit. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. So it's a big deal when you get bit. What happens when a dog bites you? Now, we know the bite, but what yeah. do you need to do as the victim to begin with? Well, there's a couple things you need to understand. There are laws to protect you, the victim of a dog bite. There's certain rules you have to be regulated by. For instance, if the homeowner knows or should have known that a dog had propensity to bite, and it's actually it's growled or been aggressive to other people uh -huh. or bitten other people, then that homeowner owes you a duty to warn you about the dog. What about, okay, I yeah. understand that. That's why there's, a, I don't know whether it's law in Mississippi, you have to have a sign on your gate saying um, dog. No, that's not required here. I mean, okay. if you have a vicious animal and you know it's a vicious animal, then one way to protect yourself is to put a sign up that said vicious dog and be, be mindful of what okay. you need to do. And that's a warning you give someone. So, you own the dog. I come into your property to knock on your door and bring you a bottle of milk, and the dog bites me. And you've got a sign on the gate saying, vicious dog, beware, or something like that. Everything falls on me? No, not at all. Neighbor. Not at all, because he still has the duty to protect you. He knowing, he's uh -huh. knowing you're coming on that property. He needs to somehow put the dog away, do something to protect you because you're an invitee on his property. He owes you that duty. Okay, well, what about dog leash laws? Where we stand with that and how does that affect your case? Those are interesting because they're a county by county or city by city oh, ordinance really? in Mississippi. There's not a statewide leash law here in Mississippi. And that's one factor that goes along with what Richard was saying. So if there's a requirement that there be a leash, your dog be held on a leash and your dog gets out because you don't have them leashed properly, then that can lead to liability on you as the owner of that dog being responsible for it biting somebody. Interesting. Um, yep. So it's a big factor that comes into play. Now, a lot of people say there are certain dogs that are automatically mm -hmm. put into the vicious list. Is that correct? Yes. There, mm -hmm. there are certain dogs that even insurance certain companies... Certain breeds, I should say. Yeah, certain breeds. There's, even insurance companies won't, won't protect you from certain yeah. breeds sometimes. And those are pit bulls <coughs> and animals of that nature that were bred to be fighting dogs or, or to be protective dogs. Mm. German Shepherds are in that category as well. And because of the breed, they have a greater propensity to bite. And as a result, you may owe a higher duty to protect someone mm -hmm. from that breed of dog. Something interesting you just brought up, which I wanted to come back to, you said insurance. You can't right. get insurance. I didn't realize you could get insurance for your dog to you, cover mm, these type of that's things. That's part of your homeowner's policy. Really? Yes, Do it is. Do people know that? They should, because mm -hmm. it is part of your homeowner's policy, and when someone gets bit by a dog, you're actually suing uh, and collecting from the homeowner's policy. Got you. All right, I've got a minute left. Yep. What happens if you get bitten by a dog? Well, if you get bitten, of course, medical attention first, yeah. but you want to make sure you get the basics. If Where did it happen? You know, who owned the dog? If you can actually get a picture of the dog so you understand what type of breed it was, as we talked about a minute ago, is extremely important, call the police. You still need to get really? a, You still need to be able to get a record of this incident happened at 123 Main Street or wherever okay. it occurred. So that's very important because you are going to be pursuing a claim against that person's homeowner insurance, and you need to have the proof that it occurred it when and where and how yeah. you are alleging. Well, as always, gentlemen, you give us great information. If you want to find out more, head over to their website. There it all is up on the screen. We're going to be talking about lots of these cases over the oncoming months. There it all is. Give them a buzz if you need to find out if you've been put into a position that we've just been talking about. Back after this short break.